New news in a CBS Sports HQ where the Dallas Cowboys are retaining Mike McCarthy as their head coach. This first reported by ESPN and confirmed by CBS lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones. With McCarthy at the helm, Dallas has won 12 games each of the past three seasons, but has yet to make it out of the divisional round. This decision comes despite an embarrassing home loss to the Green Bay Packers 48-32 in the wild card round last Sunday. Next season will be the final year of McCarthy's current contract. Immediate reaction with CBS NFL analyst Bryant McFadden. VMAC, it's always good to see you. And a piece of news here that maybe we did not expect. You were sitting next to me just a couple days ago as we mold the future of Mike McCarthy, and it remains for at least one more year in Dallas. Your reaction to the news is what? I think this was the right move. I'm happy that Jerry Jones decided to confirm Mike McCarthy for 2024 outside of that horrible performance from the Dallas Cowboys like, that we all watched uh, this weekend against the Green Bay Packers. But, I mean, let's keep it real. Mike McCarthy has really done a phenomenal job coaching the Dallas Cowboys. And, yes, the expectations every year, they're super high. But when you talk about a team that won 12 ball games, found a way to win the division, had a home playoff game, and, of course, they lost that playoff game, a lot of fans will sign up to have their favorite team have the type of success the Dallas Cowboys just had. Heck, I know you're a Bears fan. You would love to see your Bears go 12 and 5. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I would love to see my Steelers go 12 and 5 and win their division. So when you talk about and hearing fans being annoyed about what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys, if you're thinking about moving on from Mike McCarthy or, or if you would like to see him move on elsewhere, if you don't have a better option in place, then it's safe to say you need to stick with the guy. Because one thing I can say, watching Mike McCarthy as the head coach for the Dallas Cowboys and seeing him call plays on the sideline for them this year, he has a nice relationship with his quarterback and Dak Prescott. Yes, Dak Prescott didn't have his best performance in the playoff wildcard game against the Green Bay Packers, but in totality throughout the year, he played outstanding. The offense scored points. We saw C.D. Lamb develop to be a proven wide receiver, one, one of the best wide receivers in the, in the National Football League this year. Hopefully they can kind of get the ground and pound attack going more so than what they were not able to do in 2023. But in totality, as I mentioned, the offense did their thing and the defense. But if you talk about having a gripe to push or for, for what we didn't see in the wild card, what about the defense? They allowed 41 points. I think it's safe to say the Dallas Cowboys didn't lose that ball game because of Mike McCarthy in the offense. It was more so about the disappointments that we saw from the defense and the inability to get timely stops. Yeah, really measured and reasonable reaction here by Jerry Jones where maybe you were expecting some sort of different decision to be made because you talk about expectation. And yes, if the expectation is 12 wins a season, you sign up for that right now. But Dallas and their fans, they're looking to exceed expectation. They don't want to exist as a playoff team. They want to be the team. I mean, they call themselves America's team. So how do they ensure through an 18 week season that when they do get to the postseason, different outcomes start rolling in and there's not that sense of doom that approaches the Cowboys every time we do get to the postseason despite those 12 wins. You know what I said this weekend, Joe, I said the season for the Dallas Cowboys starts in the playoffs because we know they will get into the playoffs. We believe with their personnel they will get into the playoffs. But the letdown has oftentimes happened in the month of January. So for the Dallas Cowboys fans, let me if I can give you any words of encouragement right now, just be a little patient. Just be a little patient. Let's keep it real. It's not like you guys have been flirting with the idea of getting to the Super Bowl since the last time you made a Super Bowl appearance, which was in the mid-90s. So you should, you, you should understand how difficult that task is in trying to get to that level. But I can tell you this much. If you, if you feel like enough is enough with Mike McCarthy, if you don't have a better option to replace Mike McCarthy, be happy with what you have at the head coaching position and who you have at the head coaching position because he can coach ball, he can coach offense, he can coach quarterbacks. He just got to find a way to get everyone to put forth their best effort in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And that's what we will look at in 2024, right? Born any drastic letdown. Let's see what the Cowboys can do if they can get into the playoffs once again because as you mentioned, Joe, he, this will be his last season. So in regards to him hoping to get an extension, it will determine what his team, what they what they do in the playoffs 
season. You said it, Mac. It was a team that was playing with a confidence uh, bigger than we'd seen in past seasons even. Just finding out how to carry that confidence into the postseason to be a different team. Also worth noting, there's likely to be change in that building. Dan Quinn does have four head coaching interviews throughout the remainder of this week. And as the carousel continues to turn, Dallas was maybe expected to be one of those big openings that one of the big names went to. Just looking at this through the lens of the names that are floating around, there are Hall of Fame head coaches and a number of them looking for jobs right now. The fact that Mike McCarthy was not fired in this coaching climate tells you what about Jerry Jones's belief in the man? He believes he can get the job done. And also, too, you don't want to start all over again, right? I mean, my goodness, the last three years, he's won 12 ball games. Like I said, how many organizations would sign up to say, hey, we guarantee you to, you will win 12 ball games. We don't know what's going to happen in the playoffs, but you'll win 12 ball games. Half of the room would stand up and say, I, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take 12 games. So I, I'm so happy that Jerry Jones didn't flirt with the idea about, oh, we don't know, and we just got to figure things out. No, say, listen, that's our guy for 2024. Now, what happens after 2024 is up to Mike, but he is our guy. And it tells us that Jerry Jones believed that Mike can get the job done. They got to get over that hurdle. It's a high hurdle because they haven't been able to get over it in quite some time, but they have to get over that hurdle to try to get to a Super Bowl appearance, try to have a Super Bowl appearance. I think they have it. Now, when you look at what happened this season, they, dealt, they were dealing with injuries. They didn't really address some of those injuries the right way. I think personnel-wise, and some of the things that kind of surface here or there in the regular season, surface big time in postseason play, especially on the defensive side, because they were too small in the interior when you look at the linebackers. Joe, I, I talked about that weekly. Watching the NFL, watching the Dallas Cowboys, hopefully they can find a way to get bigger, to get tougher in the interior of their defense because they have everything. They got edge rushers. They got athletic guys in the secondary. They got outstanding corners. Even though they were missing Trayvon Diggs, they still play outstanding play at the cornerback position. That was the one issue for their defense. And guess what? The Green Bay Packers, Aaron Jones, they were able to exploit that issue and because of that, the Dallas Cowboys, they couldn't get the stops they needed to be able to get right back into that ball game this past weekend and try to find a way to win it. Well, they better get bigger because when the moment gets bigger, Mac, they have only shrunk. And that was the case again this season in the wild card. But it's one more year at least for Mike McCarthy in Dallas. Thank you, Mac. There are many cases to be made for this man to continue to be the head coach. 12 wins speaks for itself. I mean, win percentage by a head coach in Cowboys history. Top of that list, at better than 62% of the games, Mike McCarthy pacing that pack. And if history is any indicator, there's another hurdle to clear next season as there have been no repeat divisional champions in that division for quite some time. McCarthy and the Cowboys, they'll look to go back to back. And if they get back to the playoffs, they'll want to do more.